Thanks, Senator, for being here. I want to move you first to Libya. And I, okay. Admiral Mullen uh, said in Iraq that this was moving toward a stalemate. I want you to tell me mm -hmm. what it looks like to you. Looks like a stalemate. <clears throat> the military strategy of taking uh, U.S. Uh, air assets out of NATO, I think, was a big mistake. We have a unique capability. We've got AC-130s, the A-10s. They can do a lot of damage uh, to the Libyan forces supporting Gaddafi. When you, when you take these off the battlefield, you know, we wanted a no-fly zone for the Libyan aircraft, not ours. So it is leading to a military stalemate. I'm glad the Predator drones are going to be used. But here's what I think is going to happen. Right now, there's just not enough momentum by the rebels, even if they're better armed, to break through to Tripoli. There's not deep support for Gaddafi. So my recommendation to NATO and the administration is to cut the head of the snake off. Go to Tripoli. Start bombing Gaddafi's inner circle, their, their compounds, uh, their uh, military headquarters in Tripoli. The way to get Gaddafi to leave is have his inner circle break and turn on him, and that's going to take a sustained effort uh, through an air campaign. I think the focus should now be to cut the head of the snake off. That's the quickest way to end this. Here's the problem. The, the UN uh, resolution calls for protecting the Libyan people. It's going to be hard uh, to make that connection, saying, listen, we're going after Gaddafi. We're going off after his men. That is not within the mandate. Well, it's my belief that it's going to be hard for American national security interests to survive intact if Gaddafi stays. You know, I like coalitions. It's good to have them. It's good to have the U.N. involved. But the goal is to get rid of Gaddafi. A military stalemate is ensuing. And the only way I know to make uh, this thing successful is to put pressure on Tripoli. Uh, the people around Gaddafi need to wake up every day wondering, will this be my last? The military commanders in Tripoli supporting Gaddafi should be pounded. So I would not let the UN mandate stop what is the right thing to do. You cannot protect the Libyan people if Gaddafi stays. You cannot protect our vital national security interests if Gaddafi stays. And a long, gone, long drawn out protect, protracted engagement is not good for the Libyan people. A lot of people are going to die unnecessarily. Let's get this guy gone. And the way to get him out of Libya is to go after him militarily through the air. You don't need ground troops to do that. You know, NATO, uh, within the countries within NATO, there are not a majority of countries participating in this to begin right. with. The UN right. w was reluctant even to do what it did. But you're saying that you think regardless of what, and you're going to get backlash from this, if the U.S. goes in and takes out the leader of a nation, however illegitimate we consider him to be, there is going to be a lot of backlash. You know, who is it going to come from? Who in the world is going to say, we regret Qaddafi being driven out of Libya or being uh, uh, replaced? Or wouldn't or, they be in the uh, Middle you know, East? Being taken out. I mean, no, you, you know, I don't think anybody is. No, I, I, I don't buy that at all, Candy, quite frankly. I don't think there are many people in the world <clears throat> that will be very upset if Gaddafi is taken out of Libya, uh, and particularly in the Mideast. Look at the Mideast countries participating. NATO is uneven in terms of its engagement strategy. The American air, uh, airplanes have been taken out of the fight. It's making it more difficult for NATO to support the rebels. At the end of the day, I don't think there are very few people in the world that would be upset at all if Gaddafi leaves. I can tell you what, if he stays, it's a nightmare for the world at large. You think gas prices now are high and unstable? Let him survive and see what the Mideast turns into. The people who've taken to the streets in Egypt and Tunisia and Syria, what kind of message would you be sending to the Iranians if Gaddafi stays? So this is not even a close call for me. You can't let the Russians and the Chinese veto the freedom agenda. So anytime you go to the United Nations Security Council, you run into the Russians and the Chinese. These are quasi-dictatorships, so I wouldn't be locked down by the U.N. mandate. I would do what would be best for the United States, the Libyan people, the region, and the world, and that's replace Gaddafi. And you had said that you would support arming the rebels uh, if it made sense. Does it make sense if now? If it made sense. I think so. I think we can provide additional military capability to the rebels. But the one thing that's missing is an effective NATO air campaign. And the day that NATO lost American air power, it became less effective. And the fight has been really <clears throat> neutralized in Tripoli. <clears throat> Close air support is vital to 
the rebels hanging on to the ground uh, that they hold now. But the idea of the rebels pushing all the way to Tripoli, even with new weapons and uh, an air campaign, is, is limited because they're not well trained. The way to get this over quickly is to go after the inner circle in Tripoli, in my view. So let's have two strategies. Make sure that Gaddafi forces lose on the battlefield, better equip the Libyan rebels, have more air power coming to their uh, aid so they begin to win on the battlefield and put pressure on Gaddafi's inner circle in Tripoli by going after their compounds and their sanctuaries.